Hi, it's Miss Leah again. I'm here in my front yard. It's a beautiful spring day. And today is May 8th, and it is a special day in the life of the church where we remember a special lady named Julian. She's from a place called Norwich. And honestly, we don't know that much about her, but I did want to tell you a little bit about her. She lived in a time where there was a plague. She lived in a time where there was a great sickness. And in that sickness, she lost people that she loved. But she also, during that time, had an idea of what it must be like to hear from God and to know what he was saying to her. And she also ended up getting really sick a little bit later in her life. And it was while she was sick that she knew that that idea really was the Holy Spirit. It really was God speaking to her. So when she got well, what do you think she did? Of course, she told people. And so she's one of the very first women of, that lived in England that wrote a book, which I think is really interesting. I wonder if any of you have thought of making a book about this time that we're living in. Maybe you could write down some ideas. If you would think that that sounds interesting to you, you could ask your parents to um, follow the link in the YouTube video and they can print out, it's not really a book, but it's a place where you can make notes and you can write ideas about things that are happening right now and you could put it away and when you're all grown up and you've kind of forgotten what this was like, then you could get it out and look at it and see what this time was like. Maybe you've learned something special about God that you never knew before. Or maybe you've learned something about your family that you never knew before. Or maybe you've thought of something about yourself that you never knew before. Or maybe it's just been a lot of the things that you love and you knew already. You could write anything you wanted. You could make a book or you could put it in a box and put it away for a few years. But I think it's really special to be like Julian. And so we remember her. We think about the things that she did that were amazing and helpful. And we thank God for her. And we think about how my eye be a little bit like that. Of course, God made you special and you have special gifts and ideas, but maybe, just maybe, it, Julian's idea is an idea that you would like to share also, of writing a book about what God is doing. Even if people are sick, you can still see his hand at work and you can still know who he is. So one of the things I told you is that Miss Julian, she wrote a book. And in that book, where she told people what she knew about God and what God told her about the world and about herself. In one of those stories, she told about a seed. Now I found a small seed here. I think you can see it. And this seed comes from this tree that you can't see very well, but it's the one that shades my whole yard. And this tiny little seed can grow into a huge tree. And she looked at that seed and she wondered, hmm, what is this seed? Hmm. And the answer that came to her was that three things. The first thing is God made it. And the second thing that she thought was God loves it. And the third thing she thought was, God preserves it. Preserves means keeps it. He keeps it alive. He watches over it. And so then she thought, wow, it's so small. It might, it might get smashed. It might fall apart. It might disintegrate. It might decompose. But in her mind, she also heard this. It lives on and it will live because God loves it. Everything that is, is because of the love of God. I mean, that is amazing, isn't it? 
It's really something to think about. She also taught us a special prayer and she used her whole body. And this is a way that we can think about God's great love. So you can either go on your knees like I'm going to do, or you can stand up, but I want you to get ready now to pray with me. This is called the body prayer and it has four parts. The first part, we put our hands open right here next to our sides. And the first word is called await, await. Now waiting is hard, isn't it? But we might just wait here until our breathing is calm, until our heart starts racing, stops racing, maybe until we aren't thinking a lot of things of all the other things we want to do. We are just waiting to see what we can find out about God and about us and about the world that he loves so much. After we've waited, then we, the next word is called allow. And we're gonna go up, allow. Allow means that you let somebody do something. So if our arms are up and we're allowing God, we're really just kind of saying like, Whatever you want is fine. And we wait and we see. Maybe he wants to tell us what he wants to do. Maybe he doesn't. In either case, our next step is that we accept. Accept. Did he give you a special message of love? Did he remind you that you need to forgive someone? Did he remind you that you didn't finish your chores? or your homework? Does he want to give you great rest tonight while you sleep? Did you remember how many people love you? Whatever it is that God says to you, we can accept it because we know he, his love for us is so great. But we also know he doesn't only love us, does he? We always say at the end of church, go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. So the next step is to attend. That means whatever we, ex whatever we allowed, whatever we've accepted, it doesn't stop with us. We can love our moms and our dads, our brothers and our sisters, our teachers and our neighbors, our pets. We can care for our homes. We can share with other people. We can pray for other people. There are so many things that these hands and this body can do. So if you ever think about Julian or you you want to maybe pray and you don't have a lot of words, this is a really neat prayer that you can pray with no words. So we're going to try it one more time. First, await. Allow. Accept. Attend. And you know, one of the things I'm attending to is you. I miss you so much. Can't wait to see you again. I really hope you're having a lovely day or evening whenever you watch this video and that you continue celebrating all of the people that know and love God all over the world through all times.